Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another video. And for those of you that hate it when I talk about transfers because you think it's all just a load of rumours and gossip and whatever, well, you'll be happy because this, for the first time since the Champions League final, is a match preview. And I've been genuinely looking forward to making this preview because it feels like forever since I've seen anyone in red uh, that I care about kick a ball. Liverpool are back in action tomorrow against Chester away from home in a pre-season friendly. It is going to clash with England versus Sweden. I do wonder what kind of impact that will have uh, on the attendance, whether people just won't turn up, whether people might leave at half time. Um, the guy I'm going with says he's going to watch it on his phone, so whatever. People, if people want to watch England, that's completely up to them. Um, but for me, the, the exciting thing about tomorrow's football is the fact that the Reds are back in action, not just the Reds, but Naby Keita and Fabinho will be making their debuts for Liverpool in this meaningless friendly, but um, I wouldn't look at these pre-season games as completely meaningless simply because we know how uh, Jurgen Klopp likes to treat his met, likes to treat his players, and um, he's been open about the fact that they have opportunities to play their way back into contention. For guys, you know, I've, I've got the uh, the list the list of players back in training in front of me. Guys like Markovic, Ojo, Origi, even Solanke, um, Daniel Sturridge, Harry Wilson, uh, Ben Woodburn, Chiravella. Uh, all the keepers, um, some of the defenders might feel under pressure. Daniel Klein has got to somehow get his way back into this team. I mean, he's on high wages. He's a, he was a big signing at the time. You know, he's suddenly got Joe Gomez and more importantly Trent Alexander Arnold in front of him. So, a lot, you know, a big chance for some of these players to get in Klopp's head and play their way back into contention, like Moreno did last summer um, until he got completely usurped by Andrew Robertson, who's now the best left back we've ever had. Um, but yeah, we're back in action. It's going to be a lovely sunny day in Chester. I am going to be there. Um, so 26 players are back uh, in training, not Alexander Arnold, Firmino, Gruich, Henderson. Uh, Lovren and Mignolet, um, Salah and Mane are also having a bit of a break, uh, Van Dijk and Van Alden will be back very soon but I don't think they're going to feature against Chester. So rather than looking at just this game, let, let's just kind of try and uh, look at how things might pan out as I <laughs> get the list in front of me of the fixtures we've got uh, for this whole pre-season campaign. So it's quite a long pre-season campaign and we've got, we're going to various destinations so Four domestic away games, Chester, Tranmere, Bury and Blackburn, then three games in the States against Dortmund, Man City and Man United. Then we go to Dublin to play Napoli. There's a lot of flying around going on. And then even in the midweek before we play West Ham, we've got a Tuesday night game against Torino. Now, I'm not sure if we knew in advance that the game against West Ham was going to be on a Sunday because a Tuesday, Friday or a Tuesday, Saturday would have been a nightmare. But yeah, the Torino game is on a Tuesday and then we've got quite a long uh, uh, well, time to prepare for the West Ham game. So... It's a long, it's a, what is it, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine fixtures. I think it was eight last season, nine this year. Um, and what do we want to get out of it, I suppose? I mean, try and find out, well, try and learn the system which we're going to play, try and figure out how uh, that midfield's going to shape up with all these new additions and, you know, we've got to find a place for Henderson. Right now, I'm actually played the third most amount of minutes for Liverpool. Um, as an outfield player in, in the Premier League last season, which is you know a bit of a surprise, but he's still a key player. Um, what, how much of a role will James Milner play? Um, will it be a 2-1 or a 1-2, or will it be horses for courses? Um, we'll see how Jurgen Klopp plays with his systems and where he sees Naby Keita fitting in uh, in this Liverpool midfield. And obviously the front three, uh, will Mo Salah be more of a striker? You know, will, will, will it stay more of an orthodox two wide men and one striker in Firmino? Who knows? It's all very uh, interesting to find all that sort of stuff out. Uh, I'm not even going to try and attempt to pick uh, a starting in 11, or shall I? Let, let, let's go for one, shall we? Let's try, you know, just for a bit of fun. Um, so Lloris Karius is back, um, much to many people's chagrin, he is still Liverpool's number one. Um, so let's say he starts in goal. I'm going to go Klein, um, Clavan, uh, Gomez and Moreno. Uh, and then midfield, let's go for Keita, Fabinho and Lallana, shall we? Let's start off with an exciting team. And then Ryan Kent, um, Origi and Sturridge. That's, there you go, that's my prediction um, for the team. And I think I think we're going to end up winning this game by two goals and nil. I think we're just going to be a nice little run out and we're going to win the game. What else can we really talk about as a pre-season friendly? Um, what do you guys want to see? Leave a comment and who do you think might surprise us and force their way back into Klopp's plans. Is it Harry Wilson's time? Is he actually going to stick around or is there another loan move 
on the horizon for him. I know Celtic are sniffing around. Um, would you rather see him given the whole pre-season for a chance to impress? Same with Shea Ojo, um, Ryan Kent, Lazar Markovic. Is he completely done? Um, I think a low move seems to be on the cards for him. Any of the midfielders, maybe you think Ben Woodburn might benefit from a low move away. Is Adam Lallana still got uh, a role to play in this Liverpool side? Um, we shall see. Um, last pre-season, of course, we saw the emergence of Mo Salah. I mean, he started scoring lots of goals very early on. I think his very first game against Wigan, he scored uh, when Firmino squared it to him. Um, we saw an immense pre-season from Coutinho last summer, that tournament where we played against Leicester and Crystal Palace. He was sensational. Um, and you start to see already uh, the link-up play between himself and Mo Salah. And I think there's a friendly against Hertha Berlin as well, where Coutinho played a lovely chip through ball to Salah, who dinked it over the keeper, and it was wonderful stuff, and it was a sign of things to come. So don't write off the importance of these pre-season games. Leave your predictions in terms of players that are going to shine, your team for the game, and your score prediction. OK, let's see how the Reds go on. I'm going to be vlogging the game as usual, uh, so subscribe to the channel if you're new so that you can be able to see that as soon as it becomes available. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook as well, because obviously Instagram is the place to be. IGTV, IG Live, IG Stories, I'm doing all that sort of stuff, so make sure you're over there too. Ben might say all of those, and I'll see you soon.